Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this photograph on Facebook and wanted to know how they could cut it out and actually make it a little thicker. The lines a little thicker. So I've already traced it. Uh, it came out really good. The trace came out really good. So here's our trace. I'm leaving a copy of the original so I can kind of see what it looks like. There are a couple problems like this ear is a little close. So you can maybe move that up. I've got my, the item is only 3.49 inches big. So I've got it set at four inches. I'm going to grab my real one and move it up. Grab the whole thing and move it out of the way. Just out of the picture. And I've got this broken apart. And I'm going to nudge this to the right one arrow. I'm going to go up to effects. And I'm going to contour you got to remember, this thing is only 5 inches tall by less than 4. So you don't want to contour too much. My, my hairline is red. So I'm going to contour to the outside in black. 0 0.03. Then I'm going to go up to a range and I'm going to break the contour apart. By grabbing the inside, I'll get the red hairline. And I'm just going to get it out of the way. By nudging things over... You can always get them back. So that did the outside contour. And you can see it's already thicker. And if that's good enough for the person, then that's good enough. But then we're going to take this one step further. And we're going to contour each individual part. Or I'm going to do a couple of them for the video. I'm taking the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to fill in this inside part. And I'm going to just nudge it out of the way. And I'm going to left click, right click. Now this time we're going to go to the inside with a contour of 0 0.03. I'm going to go up to range, break contour apart. Whoop. You always want to get your pick tool back. Grab the inside contour, which is going to be our black. And now that's quite a bit thicker line. And you would just have to do that. And we'll, we'll nudge this out of the way. You could probably delete it. Let's do one more. Let's take our... Smart Fill tool and fill in this one. Nudge it over a couple of times. Left click, right click. You don't have to change anything because we're on the same contour. Go up to Effects. Break Contour Apart or you could go Control K. And then put it back. And if you did that for all your parts, you're going to have a thicker cutout line. And then you would just take it and... It is a hairline, but I would make it a red hairline just so you'll know it's a cut line. That's how I would do it. Some of these parts are going to be real little. You might not even have to change them. The outside contour might have been enough to make it strong enough for the person. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.